So the impetus of this is if you look at um, you know healthcare IT in, in general, the demand um, far exceeds the supply of you know trained um, informaticists, you know trained folks for um, the implementation of these systems, and it's very expensive to recruit people from you know outside. Um, you know, relocation expenses, you know, and you may not really know who you're going to get. Um, the practice of poaching um, individuals from, you know, close facilities is, you know, kind of frowned upon. When you do bring somebody new into the organization, yes, they may have the, um, the IT skills, the informatics skills, but they don't necessarily, you know, know the culture of the organization, you know, where the, the nursing units are, who the people are. That takes a long time to learn. So we felt that, you know, rather than, you know, continually, you know, trying to recruit and bring people in and not, you know, meeting our staffing requirements, that we would go out to um, the nursing population at large within UCI and um, grab 14 of the, the best and brightest. So hiring from the inside was a stroke of brilliance, in my opinion, from uh, Jim and, and Charles, who uh, came up with the idea of um, the 14 nurses, uh, and, well, four, 13 nurses and one um, medical administra uh, administration uh, person who was in the ambulatory world. You really need CIO and chief nursing officer uh, support. So I want the documentation to work with us to promote care and keep those nurses at the bedside because it's their eyes and ears, despite the technology, that continues to make the difference in that patient's stay. Research, education, and patient care, and we are involved in all three of those. And we're not just a little involved, we're involved big time. This organization is gonna be in the top 20. IT is gonna play a humongous role in all three of these areas. In October of this year, um, Jim had published uh, a major event of recruitment for the hospital and it was um, a very enticing email. When Jim sent out that email, mm -hmm. I thought that's such an opportunity here at UCI, especially these days. Six months of training, that's what really attracted me. It went through about 75 people who were uh, phone screened by us first and uh, I created a template of uh, interview questions, so everyone had the same exact questions asked of them, perhaps by a different person. Uh, and then we evaluated a one to five score and uh, went from there. And it's really important that you really know what types of folks that you're looking for. In our case, we, um, we actually picked somebody, we picked 14 people from 14 various units. So we got somebody from critical care, um, NICU, um, OB, pediatrics, uh, ambulatory, um, ICU. So it really helped that we had somebody that was an expert from each area, not only in our build is helping, but also in the adoption. Discovering this new world of opportunities I've never thought that nursing has a function in the IS department, mm -hmm. but you know, reading about it, I thought, oh, that's just some IT person that needs to do that. But I realize now I can be the bridge. From the day I came here, and I know a lot of us feel the same way, we just felt like we had this huge opportunity, and, I, and we know it's unique to be in this situation. And so I feel very fortunate about that. And then it just seems like it just keeps getting better and better. I was a um, red coat, and, and I could go and uh, help people. I knew the system well enough to, to oh, be good. support. So I was one of the hospital red coats. I love gadgets and um, understanding the way processes work. Having that nursing background um, works in the IT world, because even though we're not doing direct patient care, um, we're behind the scenes. Having a, a good understanding, a solid understanding of what happens clinically at the bedside is essential for um, a nurse informaticist. Okay. Um, I think that you need to know and understand how the nurse and staff will apply what it is that you're, the tool that it is that you're trying to, to give them. We knew we needed some didactic, you know, classroom education. We also knew we needed to train them in the various applications from the vendor perspective, and we knew we needed to do some precepting and, and mentoring. There's so much information to learn 
Uh, every it's exciting because every day is a new day. I've sat with someone that does order sets in the orders, and then in the ambulatory environment. I'm surprised to see that the informatics science is very similar to nursing. Also, there's the assessment, the diagnosis, the planning, the um, the implementation, and then the evaluation. There was a two-day training seminar for the overall science and art of informatics. And all the trainers, the preceptors, the mentors, everything has been, you know, they've been very, very helpful. One thing that's amazed me about being here is how many people are in the background that are doing the background stuff, because there I was as a nurse, being as there's a doctor, the nurse, and the pharmacy. And then you also had the helpers, the janitorial who kept everything clean, and then the aides who helped with the patients. And that's about all I saw. Did not know that there were so many other people that were working in the background. Frankly, ClinDoc is probably where my heart is, so I'm hoping that I'll be on that team. Because that's where I think the meat of the, the program will be for nursing, and that's where you'll be able to, you know, not only configure the, the system so that it works for nursing, but also looking to see what reports we need and how we can stop some of the double documentation that's going on and, um, and make it easier for nurses to document so that that gets done. For me, I think one of the hardest struggles was um, letting go of the nursing role, the bedside role, and coming into something like this. It is a total career change, but I still feel that I'm greatly helping my coworkers. I'm still helping the patients in the work that I do. So, um, so I'm comfortable. I'm still a nurse, and I'm just helping out in different ways. It's the up and coming field in nursing. So, if you're looking for the future of nursing, I think this is it. <laughs>